Hey, Soul Fam. Somebody said, I missed your Soul Family meetup, so you never come on anymore. So I didn't tell anyone I was coming on, but I'm going to do a reading. We just came across the river. Bea loves, I don't know why I keep doing that. I can turn it around. Hold on. Bea loves to go swimming now. So any opportunity for her to go in the water, she's like, I'm in. I'm just inviting some people to come. Let them know I'm here. Um, oh gosh, I don't even know who I invited, but whatever. <laughs> okay, that's enough, I suppose. All right. Now, when I got here, there is, I'm like, okay, so what can we use, right? What can we use for our, to choose from? There is Tarzan and Jane behind me. <laughs> Swear. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get up and do a scan for you guys. And I'm like feeling like a junky monkey, right? And I'm like, I'm, I'm doing this every single day. This is the fifth day in a row, major two, three hour hikes. Because I'm like not impressed with my physique at this moment. So I come here and we see this guy. And I said, I can't tell. Is that a guy or a girl? I couldn't tell. And he goes, I think it's a guy. He's really long hair, but he was kind of effeminate. And uh, he's with a girl. And she looks like, it's like Tarzan and Jane. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna scan, here we go. So here we go. This is where I had the rope swing last time. I don't know if, uh, oh, you haven't seen the video yet. John's gotta give me the video. He has a stinking phone that doesn't, um, it's not compatible with mine. And that means something. Anyway, um, oh, a big heart. I'm sitting on a big heart. That's awesome. So there's a rope swing over there. I went up and over, there's a beaver dam and I went up over that and I swung out and it's really deep there. It feels really, really good. And then on this side is where there's Tarzan and Jane. <laughs> She's got like the perfect body. And they, they've, there's the, that's the tire swing over there. He doesn't have the perfect body. She does. And I'm like, hmm, well, maybe there's hope for us that don't have the perfect body. Right? <laughs> okay. So items to choose from because I said I'm going to do a reading. And I figured I'd do it out, out here. I started to record. Okay, so Bea's going to be one. Bea. Yeah. The mermaid doggy. You guys can choose the canyon for another. The cicadas are clearly making themselves. Oh God, sorry. Sorry, that was kind of retarded. I didn't know it was closed and you were seeing all, probably up my left nostril. <laughs> so you got the canyon to choose from. You got Tarzan and Jane. You've got the cicadas that are screaming loud and you've got Bea. So what is that? One, two, canyon, cicadas, Bea, Tarzan and Jane. And, oh, I know. Angels. <laughs> okay. All right. So, the card, it's going to be a quick reading. It's going to be really fast because I'm using a really small little deck. And I, I just planned on doing a reading. So, ask your questions to the universe, to, to spirit, your highest self, the father, the, the mother and see what your message is. Oh, look at you guys, look at this. Look at the moss in the water. Isn't that beautiful? Can you see that? Oh, you can see it more down like this. It looks like, oh, I love it. It looks like seaweed. You go see John. Okay, look at this tree. It fell over and it continues to grow, but up. Talk about endurance, right? That's when the, when the, when the wash comes crazy, crazy wild when it gets really high. How long has my finger been there? I'm sorry, I suck. Okay. For those who chose Bea, for those who chose Bea, for those who chose Bea, commitment. Ha! So it looks like somebody's coming and going, right? Is there somebody always coming and going in your life? Looks like you've been sitting there a while and the drinks are down. She's got love on her heart, love on her chest. She's thinking with her third eye. He's, he's thinking too. They're connected somehow. Maybe he's not really there. Maybe they're just so strong. The love, nope. There's two drinks. Maybe he's fading out of something. Or maybe he's fading back into the picture. Hmm. Consider what and to whom you are willing to pledge yourself. Your logical mind might take you elsewhere. But what does your heart consent to? Honor this resolve. This guy is like speed racer. 
I think he comes in and out really quick. But blue is the color of truth, or maybe blue is communication, and he doesn't communicate very much. Or maybe he wants to communicate. Maybe he's quickly going to come in and communicate. She's just sitting there going, hmm, I don't know. She's considering, right? They're at the table. The table is like, the table is like uh, decision time, right? Putting it all on the table. Okay. Let's take a look around. For those who chose, let's see, the cicadas, because they're being really loud. Can you guys hear them? You must be able to hear them. For those who chose the cicadas, the cicada is called the monsoon bug. It comes when monsoon season shows up. Correct for neutrality. For those who chose the cicadas, for those who chose the cicadas, I'm so laughing at Tarzan and Jane over there. <laughs> oh, God correct for neutrality on all levels whoa oh I caught it on my foot right on distraction okay so this guy's juggling this is a message about look at this he's juggling so fast you can even see ones here that he's juggling that we don't see so he's got things in his mind he's juggling there's three things in front of him that he's actually juggling but he's got his mind on two that aren't there or two that aren't visible right he's got his cheeks flushed too is he a little bit shy Look at my adventure doggy. John, look at adventure doggy. She's like just going for it. <laughs> I love it, I love my dog. Okay, so distraction. So juggle, juggle, here he is again with his speed racer tie, right? He looks really familiar to me. <laughs> Are you a bartender, dude? By keeping things moving, you create a false sense of forward motion and keep intimacy at bay. Stop. Take a risk. Allow love to penetrate your resistance. These are the two. He's thinking about him and someone else, but he's focusing on that. But they're still there. They're still there in his vision. Look at that. He's looking right at it. You're not fooling yourself by lying to yourself. It's time to communicate, says the color blue, and fast, says Speed Racer. Loosen that tie. Don't be so uptight, right? Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the Tarzan and Jane. <laughs> for those who chose, you know what? When I heard, when I got, when I said Tarzan and Jane, I saw travel. So that's interesting. Correct for neutrality. Oh, you guys, look, look. Look at that little house. Look at that little fairy house. I love it. You can see a little boat going in there, right? A little canoe. You slip your canoe in and then your cave is in there. Oh my God. I love doing things in the tiny tiny world right like miniature then these boulders are massive the great open ocean right this is super freaking cool let's see if we can find some big fish there was there's look at the skeeters Whee! but there are fish in here big ones we saw them over on the other side okay for those who chose i'm not going anywhere yet i kind of want to though but just because tarzan and jane are over here doesn't mean they own the whole place okay so let's go here. Let's go into the wild wood, into the forest. Maple leaves. Okay. You like it in here? <laughs> she follows me everywhere I go. Okay. That's pretty too. All right. So for those who chose Tarzan and Jane, <laughs> all right for those who chose tarzan and jane apparently i did which is really weird i don't know why that is i will tell you something and it's not oops there it goes we landed in the water okay yesterday and my posts today were all about balance right this also could be justice lady justice but someone's holding those curtains back passion they're they're wrapped in pink which is love she's in a green chair which is healing and she's holding that scale balance she's pretty relaxed floating around out there in the ethers right are you giving and receiving in equal measure? If you tip the scales too far one way or the other, your life falls out of alignment and priorities get mixed up. Come back to the middle. Yeah, it's all about balance, right? Where are the noni stones? Oh, I haven't shown you guys yet. I put some, a stone up on 
on a rock, it was on its pointed head, right? Those ones are easy to balance, right? They're just like stacking stones. That's not difficult to do. But there's something in your life that's out of balance. Or is it? Maybe you're needing, you're healing and that's how you're gonna keep your balance. Her legs are crossed. She looks pretty relaxed in that chair. Look what she's holding on the top of that scale. Whoops, let's zoom it in so it's, there's a star. I just heard Lady Justice. So she's possibly weighing something, making a decision. It's okay, it's okay. Trying to make a decision um, because the scales are, I mean, she's holding back those curtains, right? Make sure you're giving an equal measure. So you can't be the one that's giving all the time. Maybe that's why she's sitting there relaxing. Maybe it needs to come to her. Ooh, here comes, no, 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 you stay here, you stay here. Here comes Jane, you guys are gonna get an eyeful. She's adorable. Oh my God, eavesdropping. I shouldn't, that's probably mean. <laughs> the guys are like, no, no. Okay, she's beautiful. Okay, correct for neutrality. Correct for neutrality, sorry, I shouldn't do that. I don't know if that's inappropriate or not. If I look like that, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Here, you wanna see Jay you wanna see Tarzan? He's not as hot as Jane. <laughs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality. Okay, so for those who chose, what was the last item? We had, <laughs> we had, oh, the angel hat, the angel hat. Regret, okay. I'm gonna go over here. Come over here, Bea. I didn't know they were gonna come over. I don't wanna disturb their peace. We're doing a reading, I'm on my last card. But they came across and I kinda didn't wanna cramp their style. Okay, are you gonna go, Bea? Are you gonna go with John? All right, hold on. You don't have to go everywhere I go, goofball. <laughs> okay, so regret. So there she is, she's got her top off. And her top is clouds. Her dreams, her dreams are on her chest. She's got pearls of wisdom around her neck and at her ears. But her, hair, her psychic antenna is all wrapped up in a knot. She's got a skirt that says, go, 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 but she's not going. She says, I don't have the right shoes. And she's holding on to a big bag of regret. Dirty laundry, crap that she's carrying around that she shouldn't, that's how, I fe that's how I've been feeling. See how her stomach is kind of, it's not super fit, right? I said, what is this weight that I'm carrying? It's not mine to carry and it's out of here. So it's five hour, I mean, it's two hour hi hikes every single day until it's back into shape, right? That's the speed racer, but she's just sitting there holding onto that bag of regret. There's reason for celebration just up those stairs if she would just take the first step, right? If you dwell on missed opportunities, you have an excuse to live in regret and avoid new challenges. Everything happens for the reason. Oh, for a reason. Everything happens for the best. So step up. Great opportunities abound. So don't be holding on, this is, oh, it should have been this way. Or what if we had done that? Or, oh my God, I shouldn't have done this. Or, oh, blah, blah. Take your hair down. Get the knots out of your psychic antenna. I recognize that you have gleaned pearls of wisdom from all your adventures and even your missteps, right? Everything happens for a reason. There is celebration ahead. Look to the sunshine. Take those steps. They're just begging for you to climb them. Let's go, let's get the hell out of there. Let's go, go, go. No more regret. No more regret. All right, my doggie's having a little bit of a time trying to get across and she might need some assistance if she goes down the river. John, she's trying to get to you. And I keep dropping my cards. So I'm gonna go back to my stuff. And she's gonna follow me because she looks my shadow. Here, baby, I'm gonna go and there's a little tiny fish. Can you guys see the little fish right there? That one's just wee, just a little wee one. Woo. Come on, baby. If I just go right through the water, she'll go through and she won't be stressed. I don't know why I keep doing that. I can turn it around the other way. Okay, I gotta go hiking. This isn't helping my, my cause. So, and my friend's kind of like, what are you doing over there? So, peace, you guys wanted me to come bring you, so here you are. Have a great day, I'm having a fabulous day.
My dog is trying to go back again. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. I wonder if Tarzan and Jane have left. If they have, I can take you over to that other little beach, which is kind of cool. Good girl, Bea. Good girl. You can do it. Good girl. Adventure doggy. Whoa, because she doesn't know there's all of a sudden a dip. No, I think they're still there. Good girl. Okay. Peace out. Love you.